this is the Miz back with the uh, second part of this tutorial on going to bits and pieces. And I'm going to bring in the um, layers palette. And you know what I've gone ahead and done? Uh, I've gone ahead and labeled the left side and the right side of the globe that we were working on. So this is the left side and, and that's the right side. And these two pieces up here, you know what I want to do? I want to uh, merge those two together. That was the the left side pieces and the right side pieces. I want to merge those together. And the way we do that is I've got this um, layer, layer number three, uh, selected. And I'm going to hold down the control key and click on layer four. <clears throat> and I want these two layers to merge. Now, there's two ways of doing that. You can just hit control E or you can right click and just, uh, and, and just put uh, in here, merge, uh, merge layers. Not, not the visible. That'll merge everything. So we just want to merge those layers. And so now we've got the, uh, bits and pieces up on a layer all by themselves. Next thing I want to do is I want to make a copy of, uh, the bits and pieces. So I'm going to hold down control and hit the letter J. So now I've got two copies. Uh, See there, I've got two copies of the same thing. Okay, um, I'm going to turn off the top copy and I'm going to go to the bottom uh, bits and pieces, and we're going to do a a a, a, a bevel and a bore. So you want to go down to your uh, layer styles, and uh, we're going to choose bevel and bore. Now, <clears throat> for this, I'm going to choose the uh, the chisel hard. And I'm going to increase the depth quite a bit on here. Because I want the light to play a dramatic part in, in, in the uh, pieces here. So you're going to have to adjust this according to however you want it. And you also want, you want to play around with the size. For now, I'm just going to click OK. And we'll continue on with the rest of the uh, uh, tutorial. So now the next thing we need is we got the bottom layer all gone down to bits and pieces. So what I want to do now is shut that layer off and go to the next layer. And that was our bits and pieces uh, copy. And now I'm going to go into a filter, blur, and I'm going to choose radial blur. And for this, I'm going to choose zoom. It, it might be on spin. You want to go into zoom. And what you want to do is we want to zoom these bits and pieces. So basically what you have to do is estimate where the bits and pieces are on, on the layer. I'm going to estimate like they're right about here. And I'm also going to go uh, the amount 100%. Let's see what we get. So that, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. But I think I, I can do better. So I'm going to undo that and then redo it again. And let's go blur, uh, radial blur. And let's go up a little. I'm just going up a little bit on this. And let's see what we get. No, no. We've got to go down. So I'm going to do that again. Filter, blur. Radial blur, and let's see, we're going to bring that down right about here. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the, the bits and pieces to go up in the air and away. So um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit uh, Control F because I want to apply that layer one more time. Okay? So you just hit Control F and it'll apply the same layer again. So now let's see what we got with the bits and pieces. Okay, and we can move this anywhere we want. And you know something? I think that if I was to use the free transform tool, I could get a better, better, uh, uh, let me see. Oops. There. Let's go with the free transform tool. And... And I'm going to hold down Control, Alt, and Shift, and I'm just that'll that'll bring that out like that, and I'm just going to bring this up a little bit like that. You just have to play around with yours the best way you can. 
just get it to to where you want it. You know, it's you do it all by eye at first. That's the way I'm doing that. So now we've got our explosion starting to happen here. Okay. So where what do we how do we get the fire? Okay. What we need to do is right in this area, right in here, inside the globe, we want a little fire going on here. So we need, what we need to do is go behind everything here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right down to the background and we're going to create a new layer. All right. And what I'm going to do is shut down everything here. All right. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down and get my, uh, lasso tool and I'm just going to make some fluffy kind of swirls here like that. That's all I needed to do. And you know what I want to do? I want to go into feather that quite a bit. So let's go modify feather. And let's see. I'm with you. This is all experimental. I'm going to try about 25 for this. Let's see what happens there. That's about what I'm looking for. Now what I need to do is I need to change my um, I need to change my colors foreground colors. I'm going to choose that one for the uh, foreground and the yellow right here. So now we've got these two colors, red and yellow in the swatches here. I'm going to go up to filter, render, and clouds. And that's going to be the beginning of our explosion. So let me deselect that and let's bring back in the uh, the other layers here. And that's going to give us uh, our fire. And okay. Now, there's, uh, I'm going to make a, a duplicate copy of this. I'm going to go control J. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the feed transform tool and I'm also going to, uh, transform this to where I think I might want it. Okay. And I'm going to lower the opacity on this just slightly. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going down to the uh, layer styles palette and I'm going to give it just a little bit of an outer glow. Just not much. Just a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Just a little bit, not too much. All right, now let's play around. Here's what I like to do. I like to play around with the uh, uh, the blending. So we got normal here. Let's just go through what we, what we have available to us. And you can just go through just about all of them in just a few seconds. And that's, I don't know. Normal looks good. Let me reduce the opacity on this just a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, here's 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 a little nifty little trick. Um, let, why don't we go to the uh, the uh, the the radial blur layer? And we'll add the same thing we did before. We're going to do it just a little bit of an outer glow. <clears throat> and look what that does. And I think I got the, I just got it up just a little too much. And I want to make that a little bit more orangey. And that's, that's about it right there. Now, <clears throat> how do we get the little bits and pieces? I'm going to choose a little, I'm going to go down to the, uh, uh, the pieces that we did the heavy, uh, uh, bevel emboss on. That was this layer right here. I'm going to go, go back to the default colors and I'm going to choose a color from the image. And let's see, this color right here. I'm going to choose that color as my, and now I'm going to go into a brush. I'm going to choose a brush. I'm going to choose a very, very small brush, uh, maybe three pixels. And now uh, all I have to do, all I, can, all I have to do is, 
increase this just a little bit. And now I can just put little dots all over the place. And let's see, if I change the brush into something else, let's see, something like this, I can make make this a little lighter. I can make the 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 debris. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's go in here and try this brush, and just just go around and and just make just some dots, and and vary the the size of the dots. Uh, see, it looks like it's debris just going out into the into outer space there and let's try this brush here see what that one does you got to experiment a lot of this is experimentation you know i'm experimenting as i'm going along and so you basically got the idea and one other thing you might want to do on this on this layer here is do a little bit of a drop shadow let's see what a drop shadow would do i'm, I'm just experimenting i'm doing a little bit of a drop shadow I'm going to lower the opacity just a little. We can put the drop shadow. We can drag the drop shadow anywhere, any place in this image we want. And that's also, uh, let's see, drag it right here. Give give it a little opacity. And that looks good right there. Okay, so that's our beginning. And you know what? you got to play around with the uh, explosion in the background. Uh, I don't really have time to do that. One of the things that I like to do, though, really quickly, I do, and I, I've done this in my tutorials before, is the lab super, super saturate. So I've just super saturated this layer right here. And, um, what you can do is because we're on two different layers, this layer and that layer, you can use your, uh, eraser brush and you can start erasing the top layer and get uh, the color that's underneath the bottom right there. So you you just gotta you just gotta go around experimenting. Um, this will give it uh, the fluffy cloud look uh, on the uh, image. And so it's basically you know, and you can fool around with the uh, uh, the curves and and get the brightness and 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 fool around with the brightness and and colors and do this a uh, little something with the saturation it's you you just got to play around you basically i gave you all the tools you need right now just go out and experiment that's what it's all about thank you